Go ahead. I'm Wendy September. And I'm Sam September. Parents of Hadley. Hadley had some complications. I had a prolapsed cord and um, we had an emergency C-section and when the doctor delivered her, he did not think that she was alive. When Hadley was born, she had one of the scariest conditions that can happen to a baby and their family. She had what we call hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. What that means is that sometime prior to her birth, she had interruption in the oxygen and glucose supply to her brains that caused the brain cells to start immediately dying. Um, I was not cognizant. I just knew that I hadn't heard my baby cry. Mm -hmm. And Sam went with her, and she had gone uh, 14 minutes without oxygen. And um, her Apgar scores were um, very low, and mm -hmm. Sam was told that it would be in her best interest to um, send her for the cooling protocol. Love you, sweetheart. We have a very short time in which we can um, help rescue the brain and stop the neuronal cells' death that uh, begins immediately and escalates rapidly. And we have just minutes to hours to intervene. Therapeutic hypothermia is actually what it sounds like. It's using coal to treat the baby. And um, specifically, we here at Hopkins use a protocol in which we cool the baby to a temperature of 33.5 degrees Celsius, which actually is 92.3 degrees Fahrenheit. And as you can imagine, that's really fairly cold, but that interrupts the injurious metabolic processes, causing the neurons to die. So when um, I got to Hopkins, yeah. Um, now, we, I had been up for like 36 hours at this point. Um, huh. Now, you see this little baby. You haven't even held yet, you know. <laughs> and she was, you know, laying on a little blanket and they had a little jacket, you know, a water jacket, and they were explaining everything to me. And, um, and uh, you know, they were very positive and upbeat about, you know, this protocol. And, there was uh, someone there for respiratory and someone there watching her neurologicals and uh, someone, you know, maintaining the water jacket and then someone just watching her complete vitals and that was Patrick. It was critical, there's no question about it, uh, especially for a mom and dad. Mom not being in the hospital at the baby's at and a dad being transported with, the, with her baby or his baby to a hospital that we don't know anything what we're going to do except for three days put her baby basically on ice. Uh, so um, he, uh, he explained everything to me and he's like, you know, his whole goal is to make sure, you know, the complete package, that's what he kept saying, the complete, I want to give her the complete package. I don't do anything less, you know, we're doing this to make sure her, you know, her brain is okay and she doesn't suffer any brain damage from the swelling due to lack of oxygen. And uh, he said, that's my goal. And he was with her like almost every day he was. for 12 hours at a time. After three days, we warm gently, warm the baby gently, and uh, the baby awakens to find out exactly what damage has gone to the head. Bless Patrick, our dear nurse. And um, he said, Mom, we have to stay positive. And she's a fighter. And, um, you know, I know this is hard, but uh, this, this is something we have to do. I remember specifically talking to dad. I, I told dad that I want, her, I want his baby to have everything. And I look at it that way and his baby will have everything. I promise that and I don't make many promises unless I can think it's going to come to follow through in it. Our neonatal neurosciences program is um, really a group effort. 
and it is a group that has come together from the specialties of neonatal perinatal medicine, maternal fetal medicine, pediatric neurology, pediatric neuroradiology, pediatric cardiology, pediatric anesthesiology, the neurology and neurodevelopmental programs at the Kennedy Krieger Institute, neonatal uh, nursing and neonatal respiratory therapy. And that combination of people has been just an extremely vital force in moving forward our neurosciences program. I like this area a lot. I've seen miracles after miracles happen and uh, I keep on seeing these babies come back and I'm always pleased. In the next years, we must move some very exciting therapies forward to help infants who are at risk and who have suffered from brain injury. We have a number of very exciting research projects. One of them here at Hopkins is an attempt to develop a nanoparticle to deliver actually a therapeutic drug directly to the brain. There are any number of other exciting research projects involving stem cells and regenerative medicine that we hope are going to be applicable to the infant with, with brain injury. All the risks that are associated mm -hmm. with cooling a baby had they sustained, mm -hmm. and she's this miracle. I mean, yeah, she's she survived it. Yeah. yeah. And I would say to any parent who's in the beginning stages of it, you, know, you just have to trust and trust mm -hmm. in the doctors and trust in the protocol because that was the hard thing. It's right. when they were definitely trying to figure out whether to keep cooling her. And thank mm -hmm. the Lord they did.